One of our uh, projects, we've got an experiment going up at the International Space Station. It basically is a growth chamber. We're measuring a little, really simple uh, uh, plant, uh, Arabidopsis thaliana. And they send one of these products to the International Space Station, and then uh, they get data that's coming from space. And they have other exolabs, uh, one as a control, maybe in their company, and then they have others that they distribute throughout the country, and different schools work with them. What happens when we remove gravity as one of the forces of nature, and how will that plant grow on station versus what happens in their classroom. This is what you see in the classroom, a carbon dioxide sensor, luminosity sensor, along with temperature and humidity sensors. We take that, we throw that up on the OSI cloud, and the students get real-time streaming data back to the station, school to school, as well as school to station. So we get this data coming from different exolabs, and then we put it together to basically compare. So I'm sure every student would love spending time on it and would love actually like working with it, making charts, comparing values, trends. Real-time data, you know, how do you describe it? I guess the best thing to do is just take a snapshot of, of a young student when their eyes get wide and their mouth goes agape because they've literally seen a phenomenon right in front of them. Magnitude is giving the students the opportunity to build something and work with real-time data that's coming from space. In 10 years, when they sit down and get interviewed, they'll say, it was the exolab that kind of drawn me to STEM.